Hi and welcome to my channel. In this video I'm talking about kids audio boxes and specifically the Tony box. Kids audio used to mean a choice between more screen time or some retro technology but now there are several child friendly screen free audio boxes you can buy and today I'm looking at the Tony box an audio player with cute colourful characters that play stories and music. The Tony Box is designed for kids aged three and up. Most of the pre-recorded audio you can get for it is suitable for up to age 10, but you can also buy creative Tonys which are blank and fill them with your own audio. I'll tell you more about how to max out on free audio for your creative Tonys in a minute. The boxes come in six colours and they are padded so they can survive rough play which makes them perfect for young kids. The audio for your Tony box is stored on Tonys, which are really high quality, two inch high figures. If you've ever owned a Schleich dinosaur, these are exactly the same sort of feel and also German designed. Tony box doesn't have conventional controls. Instead, when you want to play audio, you pop the Tony on the top of the box where it attaches magnetically and to stop the audio, you take it off, put it back on again and it resumes play where it left off. Volume is controlled by squeezing the ears, small ear to decrease the volume and big ear to increase it. Moving through the audio is a little bit quirky. You tip the box left or right to rewind or fast forward and to skip to the next track you hit the box on the side. The trouble is it doesn't always work first time. I can't help but wonder whether adding a knob and making the controls a little bit less clever and a bit more straightforward would actually be a good idea. However, don't let this put you off because I find most kids, my daughter included, are quite happy to just start the audio and let it play all the way through. You can travel easily with your Tony box and plug headphones in. So loads of kids use them on airplanes and in cars. And I recommend the luggage pack, which you can get, which allows you to carry the Tony box and the characters together. Charging takes three hours and when fully charged, you'll have seven hours playing time. So more than enough time to drive to the airport and fly somewhere warm if you're lucky enough. Now let's get back to the audio. Pre-recorded Tonys are lovely to collect and to give as gifts. They include stories, children's songs, foreign language stories and sound effects like white noise. And the figures directly reflect the audio which is on them. So there's a Gruffalo figure, Disney figures and classics like Winnie the Pooh. But I'll warn you, they aren't cheap to buy. Although for the mum and dads watching this, they are probably what you and I used to pay for a CD album from HMV in the 1990s. And that was quite a while ago. The alternative to pre-recorded Tonys are creative Tonys, which are blank. And these are personally what I really bought the box for. There are lots of free Tony's audio on the app, but it's mainly focused to younger ages. So here is what I do. I download podcasts and upload them to our creative Tony's via the My Tony site. My favourite places for grabbing free audio like this include the BBC, NPR and Fun Kids. And I'll drop links to those below. It's not complicated to do. It takes about five minutes to download and re-upload enough audio to fill one Tony. And you can change the audio as many times as you want, which means we have a pretty much endless supply of free age appropriate audio. You can also rip any old CDs that you have and you can stick them onto a Creative Tony, but the maximum capacity for a Creative Tony is 90 minutes. And I have a load of audio stories which are split across multiple CDs, which I would love to be able to transfer as whole stories to a Tony, but I can't. And buying the same number of Creative Tonys as I have CDs would possibly bankrupt me. Now, a quick word about setting up your box and using the app. There are a few grumpy reviews that I saw online of people who had difficulty setting their box up, which I was worried about. But my experience was that we managed to do it first time and it took about 10 minutes. And trust me, if you've already survived setting up IKEA furniture for your children, which you probably have done, then this is going to be a doddle in comparison. <laughs> Now, Tony Box has an app and that is a quite simple app with quite limited parental controls, but it does allow you to record yourself or the grandparents or anyone else in the family 
reading stories and to then change the audio on your creative Tonys. As you've probably worked out by now, these children's audio boxes are absolutely brilliant and they get a load of use and are great value for money. So it's not a question of if you should buy one for your kids, but which one you should buy. So if you are still undecided, I've made a side by side comparison video of the Tony box versus the Yoto, which is another really popular kids audio box. And that video is popping up on the screen right now. So hop over to watch that and that may help you decide. Thanks for watching.